Hi. Nice. Okay, let's start. Let's start. I've showered and I've washed my face, so the usual. First thing, sauna, my favorite right now. I've already used about a quarter of the bottle. So definitely something that I'll buy when I go back to Japan. Okay, done. Then I'm actually going to mix uh, my SK2, which I've only got just a little bit left with this Jose uh, Moisture Skin Repair, which I actually got about a year ago. But I haven't been using it so much because I find that it's a little bit too high in alcohol content. So I'm going to... I don't know. I'm just going to mix the two because this is already going to finish and I don't want to buy a new bottle yet. Squirt. That one or two. This. Just like a splash. Kind of like mix the two and put it all over. Next, I'm going to be using my Clinique Turnaround Concentrate Extra Radiant Renewal. Renewal. The reason I'm using this is because my Drunk Elephant, the Glycolic Night Serum, is finished. I am so sad. Like, you can't get it here locally. You can only get it in Sephora in the States. So, it's finished. So I have to wait until the next time I go to the States to buy it. And it's expensive. So, I don't know. So anyway, I'm so sad when I'm using this. It's just as good. Obviously, I really like the Drunk Elephant one, but yeah, anyway. So like a squirt, actually that's a little bit too much. After I use this, my skin feels uh, quite smooth and soft. Next is my moisturizer, because it's still in the daytime. I'm using the Laneige Water Bank Essence EX, I guess that's extra. I've... it doesn't... It looks as if it's full right now, but actually it's just like this a little bit left and it's not because I really like it I'm just trying to finish it up uh, will I repurchase mm, not immediately I have other ones but yeah it's okay for the daytime I'm actually using this mixed with a drop of the oil from Sisley and yeah it, I like it like that on its own I would say that if you live in a cold country this is not gonna be enough uh, hydration for you but like, um, you know, here, it's okay. And finally, the Shiseido sunblock. And this is extra important if you are using some kind of exfoliant. So the turnaround um, from, from Clinique is some kind of exfoliant. I mean, I feel it because my skin feels super soft after that. So it's extra, extra important to use a, a good sunblock. So this is the one that I like the best. I'm going to start with foundation. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty um, foundation with this new beauty blender that I got in Nude. Because, I don't know, I think the colour that I got before, which was the bubblegum pink, I don't know, maybe the other colours, it felt a little bit more fragile. So I only used it for a few times and it started to break apart. So I bought a new one and this is the Nude colour, which looks like foundation, which is great. Colour is in 190. So shake it a little bit does it say shake does it say shake huh oh it does shake well two pumps anyway i'm so glad that you have been enjoying my vlogmas i know it's not um white christmas like uh you know like overseas it's actually a very hot and wet christmas because it's been raining and as you can see, I don't really do anything, right? I work, sometimes I teach class at night, then I eat and eat and eat. I guess that's the most exciting part <laughs> of my kind of vlog with or my kind of day because I get to eat so many kind of things and even though we are a creature of habit, um, we do sometimes go and try new things. So... Um, yeah, I, I'm glad that you've been enjoying it. I'm sure, you know, when I'm, when I'm editing it, <laughs> going through it, I'm like, oh, that looks so good. I feel like eating that again because <laughs> I get hungry when I watch my own videos, right? So, yeah, I, I think uh, I'll continue to do it until the end of the month. And somebody requested for me to do Vlog Fachai. That was something that I kind of started last year. 
year for Chinese New Year, so Kung Si Fa Chai, you have Vlog Fa Chai. I don't know yet because this year's uh, Chinese New Year, I think it's gonna be pretty boring. We'll see if I have some interesting, you know, activities for the 15 days, I will put it on. But I don't think so. I think it's just gonna be us at home and as we get older, there's nothing much to do. You know, it's not like last time when we were young. You have so many kids to play with, you know, your brothers, your sisters are all young, you're gambling in the house, you're uh, playing games, you know, playing firecrackers. Nowadays, you can't play firecrackers. And it's pretty quiet, so I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I'll think about it. Plus, Chinese New Year is not like Christmas, where shops are all open. It's the opposite. It's shops are all closed, all the food places are closed. They're, you know, only the ones at the malls are open. So it's really, really hard to find good food or even finding food during the new year. Okay, so that's my foundation done. It's quite a matte foundation and uh, I didn't use a very, you know, thick moisturizer. I should have used a thick, thicker moisturizer underneath. So it looks a little dry, but yeah, it should be okay. So. Next, I'm using this concealer, and this is the Magic Concealer from Calypso from Japan. I went to Don Don Donkey in Singapore. It's the new Don Quixote that's open there, but they can't name it Don Quixote because apparently there's already a shop called Don Quixote in Singapore. I think it's a restaurant. So because of that, they had to call themselves Don Don Donkey. They actually sold this there, and I was really excited when I saw it. I was like, yes, they sell it there because I had to order this online. But it was expensive. It was 25 Singapore dollars, which is about 75 ringgit. Um, you can get this from Japan for about 40 ringgit. It's about 1,000 yen or 1,004 yen, something like that. It's really, it's not 70 over ringgit, okay? So it was much, much more expensive. And yeah, so the makeup was expensive. I looked I took a look at it, no, nope. still worth buying it in Japan or even ordering it online, so not, not cheap, non don don But there were some shelves that were fully wiped out, like wiped out, bare. Uh, mainly the food and some of the like equipment, not equipment, like you know, tools and all that, that, that was wiped out. There were some. Still using a little bit of cream bronzer, so I'm using the two uh, Fenty sticks, beauty sticks, match sticks. Sticks. This is Mocha and Trippin, so I'm just going to use a little bit. Ah, it was a bit too much. Ooh. I quite like this brush from Real Techniques. Like a buff, I think it's a buffing brush, let's see. Contour brush, oh yeah and just like kind of buff it out. Right down the nose. Yep, that's it. Okay, then trip in as a kind of like a blush base. Definitely a little bit drier. I should have used the thicker moisturizer at the bottom, but it's okay. Whatever. So I'm gonna bake a little bit just under my eyes and around here uh, with the La Mer powder. And not too much because, like I said, it's a little bit drier, so it's a big one. This is actually the old packaging. Um, I don't know, I find I like this packaging. It's frosted and all, so just grab a little bit on my beauty blender. Okay. My eyebrows are pretty much done because um, I got them embroidered. So I'm just going to color them a little bit because it's got a bit of foundation on top of it. So that's just going to take like 10 seconds. This one done. That's another one done. Okay, so that's it. Like 20 seconds, 10 seconds each. Now for the eyes, and actually I wanted to have some, I want to do some colour today, so I'm just going to go with, um, for my eyes the main thing I want to do today is actually blue eyeliner. So I bought this fluid line from uh, MAC, 
probably earlier this year, called Siahi. Siahi? I think that's how you pronounce it. And I have this um, new makeup geek brush. This is the Bent Liner brush. I'm gonna try and use this together because I normally use a like a pen type of a eyeliner. So today I'm gonna uh, try and use this, and I'll let you know if this is user friendly. <laughs> Since the focus for today is actually um, just the liner, I'm just gonna just do a little bit of contouring around my eyes. I'll be taking this color Drive from the Tatis uh, Pro to Go Tarte palette, and. I like this for traveling. I've mentioned it before. It's really easy. If you like warm colors, there's three mattes and two, three shimmers. So I'm just taking the neutral color here and sweep that all over my eyelid. Just to give it a little bit of a base. Oh, that might be a bit too dark. Okay, that's too dark. So reset this. Okay, so I have this uh, eyeshadow collection from, most of them are Makeup Geek, I think. I've got one which is from Shurimura, this is from Makeup Forever. So I'm be using the Makeup Forever one, and this colour is uh, Matte 536. It's a um, pretty neutral, uh, cool tone. So I'm just going to use that instead of the Protogo one, because that was a little bit too dark. Yeah, much better. So. So all over the lid, into the socket. Really blend it. The end of the year is coming and anybody already <laughs> revisiting their new year resolutions and saying, oh, did, you know, did you achieve your new year resolutions? Did you like totally forgot about it? Like, did I make any new year resolutions? I didn't make any new year resolutions this year. Um, mainly the travels, which I think I achieved. Um, what else? Be happy. <laughs> then I'm going to take this really white color from Makeup Geek. This is called White Lies. Yes. I told myself a lot of white lies previously. Okay, so that's going to go um, nearer to my brow bone and kind of blending the edges out. So I'm taking a little tiny brush and gonna dip into Frappe just a touch, just a little bit for the lower lid right here just to give it a little bit of, um, I don't know, darken it up a little bit just at the edge right here. And now for the challenge because I don't know whether it just look good but you know. So I'm using the Makeup Geek Bent Liner Brush. It's kind of like a straight brush and they took like a plier and then kind of bent it. So it gives it a little bit of an angle. Concept is uh, pretty clever but I don't know if it will look good. So this is the blue, kind of like a turquoise, dark turquoise color. So it's a dark blue, almost greenish. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and see. So you can see it's more green than blue. Um, depending on, I think depending on the angle but definitely it looks more green so let's try it out kind of like turning the brush the bent part of the brush the kind of like this part of the brush towards my eyelid so it kind of like flows this way um, pretty easy to use yeah it wasn't so hot huh but I think this color is a little bit dry. The only thing is the tip, the brush hairs are quite thick, so you're not gonna, I don't know, I'm not getting, I'm not getting a very thin line. Yeah. Quite a nice color actually, but it's not, the, the brush is not super, super thin. So, I don't know whether it's the way I'm using it. Okay, anyway. Let's keep going. Yeah, I think it's okay. So alright, so I'm using it with my good hand. I'm gonna try it with my other hand and see if I can get the same kind of control. Otherwise I'll have one eye that's a bit like better than the other. Which happens a lot. Okay. 
obviously this is not my good hand um, so if you don't have a good hand this tool doesn't actually help you um, yeah I don't know it could be the product huh probably doesn't show up much on camera but I really like the color um, I would say this is fairly easy to use you know it but it's not uh, really thin the brush tip is not really thin so you're not gonna get that really thin line at the edge right here you're not gonna get that really sharp wing but for me it's okay so moving on oh no I totally forgot I wanted to use this from Jill Stewart this is their uh, what's it called jelly eye color which is super cool I got this in my last trip it's like a um, jelly formula Let's, you can see that it's like, it's like jelly right and it's really really pretty it's showing up it's very very sparkly and it's just a little bit of shimmer so I wanted to put that in the middle of you know on the um, in the center of my eyelid so let's see if I still can do it just just a little bit and that's a bit too much I probably have to do that eyeliner again or maybe not Just in the middle, uh, it probably doesn't show up on camera, but in real life, it does sparkle. A little bit of my favorite mascara, which is my L'Oreal Voluminous Black Carbon Black Mascara. It's great stuff. So now I'm just going to dust off all that powder from the baking earlier. It was just a little bit. Okay. I'm using this Tarte Park Avenue Princess. Um, set which is got a bronzer blush and a highlighter and I'm gonna put that a little bit I actually really like this um, it was quite popular on YouTube at once so I bought it because of that and it's the color is so convenient I was actually thinking about buying the Tom Ford you know the Soleil contour com compact which is like it's got the highlighter bronzer and then it's got the blush as well it came out with what afternooner and afterglow i wow the, with the white packaging and everything i really 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 wanted it but when i saw the price tag like no <laughs> Now I'm going to put on my lashes and this is my favorite lash. This is the Demi Wispies from Adele, 102 Demi Black. I really like this, easy to use and I think because the band is not super thick, um, I don't have to use too much glue and it doesn't get stuck all over my you know, real lashes. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to hang around here for a while. Can you imagine that this year is over? I, I'm still <laughs> shocked that it's December like this year for me just flew by so many things happened uh, you know my YouTube has grown a little bit and I'm really really proud of it and I've also got you know made some friends um, you know my classes for my gym has increased I've you know you know done new things for myself but there are things some other things in my personal life that I wanted to achieve but I haven't done so next year I better do it I better lock myself down and do it So that's one down, one to go. And then also this year, um, I had like three uh, not so great things that happened. Uh, my grandfather passed away, and then of course my mom was uh, is is diagnosed with cancer. And then something that's not so important. I've been having a lot of car problems. <laughs> like seriously, like oh my car has just been a real headache I tell you from the aircon to the sensors to yeah just really really stressful obviously that's not in the league of my mom and my grandfather but it also is something that preoccupies your mind so I would say that this year um, has its ups and downs like any other year right but this year is exceptional because with my mom and everything and she just started her treatment last week she has started her radiation and she started her chemotherapy she's done one round and I think it's 
I think she's going alright. She seems okay, so we'll just monitor her for the next uh, few weeks. You know, make sure she's eating well. Make sure my dad is buying food for her because I'm not at home. Um, yeah. Mamia. Yeah. Where are you? Hey, are you okay or not? Go out like that, like that. I'm okay lah. Okay, now the lashes are done. I'm gonna put on my lipstick and just, you know, look pretty and I will be right back. So this is the finished look. I am using Fenty Beauty's um, Universal Lip Color and this is the one that she launched earlier and I really like it. It suits my skin color and I've seen it on many other people and it looks fantastic on them as well. It makes your lips look so juicy. So yeah, I didn't want to make this video too chatty like my previous two videos which I chit chat a lot. I just wanted to keep this a little bit shorter just to show you um, the two new products that I got. Well, not new but two new products that I was trying out which is actually the lip, eh, sorry, the eyeliner color and the eye pencil. Sorry, the eye brush. I can't talk today. The eye brush. So yeah. I think the brush is uh, quite okay. You know, it's cheap. It does the job. It's not you're not gonna get like really sharp thin line on it with it. Or it could be the product that I was using, the fluid line. It was a little bit more dry, so I found it a little bit hard to spread out. So I'm not sure if it's the tool or the product. I'm gonna try the tool again with another um, eyeliner uh, pot, and we'll see if it's better. And if it is then yeah, the pen, the pen, the tool is good. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be filming my next video, which is the Lindy update. It's been a year, so I have um, a few things I want to mention, so I'm gonna keep that video quite short, but it's gonna be an update video, so do look out for that if you are looking into getting a Lindy. Otherwise, you guys take care, and I will see you in my next video, on my next vlog. Bye!